Hey, how's it going everybody? Today we are going to be doing a quick tutorial on making your emote into a GIF that you could use on Twitter, Discord, or really anywhere that you could use GIFs. So to start, um, I'm going to show you how to record it. So we're going to be using a program called OBS. Basically, I have two instances of OBS open. I'm using one to record the video, and then I'm using this other one as a demo that I'll use to record the GIF. So um, basically, the first thing that you want to do whenever you download it to OBS is set up your display capture so you're able to see your screen, set up your video capture if you want a webcam, um, and then your your other settings by, beyond that, um, your audio and stuff like that. Uh, we're not going to get into too much depth for OBS. Um, but one thing I am going to show you is if you go to your file, your settings, and then your video settings, one thing that I like to do whenever I record my GIFs is make them a square. So we're going to go 1080 by 1080. Um, and that will make our OBS canvas a square. So if you wanted to leave it um, as your uh, computer screen, how your computer screen looks, you could leave it at 1920 by 1080. If you want to make it tall, like your phone screen, you could make it 1080 by 1920. But particularly, what I like to do is make it a square. So I'm going to move my OBS out of the way. And then actually, what I'm going to do on the one I'm recording my GIF on. So here, let me move it back over here so you could see. Um, I'm going to turn off the video display capture on on this one so you guys could still see me but whenever i'm recording my gif i won't be in the way of myself so basically at this point i'm just going to want to position where i'm recording in obs it's kind of hard for me to show you while i'm doing it but basically you just want to move the square over to where your avatar is in the middle of it um kind of set up or position yourself however you like i'm gonna one click and do my emote Let it play through. And whenever you know it gets to the end and kind of does a loop, you could stop it whenever whenever you're ready. So go ahead and let it kind of play through for just a second longer. I'm going to click out, stop my recording. So the next thing that I'm going to do is just trim down the video a little bit. So I just opened it into Premiere. Um, there's plenty of uh, free video editing softwares out there, I'm sure, if you don't have a paid thing for Premiere. So whatever you find to use to trim it down, or if you just kind of record your clip good enough where you don't have to trim it down, you could go that route as well. But um, yeah, so I'm just going to kind of find the beginning of my emote. So then we're just going to kind of want to find where the emote loop ends. I think that it's probably a 10 second loop. I think that's the longest that you can make it. So probably right at the end of the 10 seconds where the loop ends. Let's see where the first thing is. Peace sign and they kind of close, roll the hand with pinky. Roll the hand, yep. So sit right at the 10 second mark. So I could just see right here where we're at 10 seconds basically. And I don't know that's the end. So we are remote play. And maybe I don't want to have it kind of do the jump at the beginning. Maybe I want it to kind of be a little bit smoother where they're kind of already in the peace sign. So it kind of ends back at the same. See how that looks. So now when they get back to the peace sign, they'll kind of have the same uh, position, basically. Something that I could do to test this, if I clip this, let's see, I'll copy it. I'll come over here and I'll paste it at the end. And then we could see the loop just like, we could see our background changes a little bit, but the loop is pretty clean actually with how they move the fingers. So I think that we got it pretty good right there. And then I'll just control Z it back to normal. Control save my thing, control M export. And I'll save it here. I'll just put, oh. Or I'll do, let's see, uh, KJ Strong, so name of the emote. 
So we want to export it as an MP4, but you see how we have these black edges on the side. So basically, we just want to adjust our preset from 1080 to match our source. So match source, we'll just do a high bit rate because our GIF place will fix it. And then we'll just go ahead and hit export. The next thing we're going to be doing is loading them to Tenor so we could use them on Twitter and Discord. So whenever you search uh, for GIFs on Discord or Twitter, they pull from this site. Um, so you could just upload them here and then it'll make them searchable whenever you want to use them. So we just go to upload. I'm just going to drag and drop my file over. And then basically we're just going to want to add a bunch of tags that make our GIF searchable. Something I would recommend is adding a tag that makes it easy for you to find. You're going to want to add ones like to Centraland and things like that where they're in the normal feed, but then you're going to want to add something where you could uh, find your, your own GIFs by yourself. So I'm going to add KJ Strong to this one, and I think that'll help. I would suggest adding as many tags as you can so it makes it more searchable, but for now, I'll just add a few. Once you upload your file, it takes a little while to process, so we'll come back. So our GIF has finished processing. There's a couple of different ways you could use it, and we could go on Twitter, and then we could just use the search, and we could find it. Or you could use this share URL, and you could copy this, and you could paste this right into Discord, for example. And whenever you send it, it'll appear as the GIF that you made. Um, so yeah, we'll go over here and Twitter. Search words that we put in. You can see our GIF is right here. So the GIF quality will be affected by the amount of colors you have in the GIF. I'm not too sure how well it's affected in the video that I'm recording. Um, but it, GIFs only display 256 colors. So if you have a background with a lot more colors, it's not going to display as clearly as if you have a solid background. Here's another one that I made for reference that has a more solid pink background. And uh, it just appears slightly less pixelated, a little bit more clear in general. Um, so just something to note while you're recording and uploading your GIFs. But hopefully this tutorial helps. I'm excited to see people turn their emotes into GIFs and be able to use them in more places. Hopefully they'll be searchable and everybody could have a fun time sharing them. So hopefully this helps you out. See you later.